So what we're doing here is uh, we're actually removing the hydraulic motor out of the out of the tractor that drives it right in that area. Uh, we just pulled it out because it was leaking the past couple of years, just dripping on the driveway. So what we've done is we pulled it out and we had a leak right in this area, right? So what you're going to find there is uh, uh, basically a, a washer like this with an o-ring on the outside and another seal that's a lip seal that goes in there like such right and it's, it gets held in by a lock ring like that what happens is this this o-ring sits and it gets compressed starts leaking under vibration with the diesel so we put a new one of those but also this seal is brand new as well. Just remember to bond that seal in with some kind of RTV that could work with hydraulic oil. Um, because the, the one that we had in there, that one that just fell here, just basically spun around in there and you could take it out by hand. So I think the majority of the leak was actually that. It wasn't bonded in. So it got loose over time and just popped right out. So this thing should be back and in working order and just got to heat up the garage and get this thing back in there but um if your hydraulic motor the drive motor on your tractor is leaking that's probably what you're going to find in there very simple lock ring take it out replace a couple of rings and again and uh and an axle seal all right